going in. Oh! <laughs> I bounced off his head. Boom! 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 Titan Slayer! What is going on, people? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your local area. This is Tony. Welcome to today's video. Today we got some gameplay on Castle Map. It's a 5v6 squad gameplay. We got some pretty intense moments. We get a little bit behind, and Ox Minos got to come in and do what he does best. Some great teamwork, team play and a lot of fun action hope you guys enjoy oh and before i forget we're on our final push to 1000 subscribers so if you guys haven't already and you're returning to the channel you've watched some of my videos before and are debating whether you should subscribe or not please consider it once again subscribing to the channel as you guys see center beacon is heavily contested get locked down this type in here Typhons are amazing at locking, suppressing, and just putting you in a bad situation. I used to run that same Typhon build right there. It's extremely, extremely effective. You let your fellow teammate shells and the meters push up. You give suppressing fire. You lock down people with the uh, lock blackout 2.0 beam. It's extremely, extremely effective build. Okay, so now I'm waiting for more teammates to spawn in so we can make a coordinated push. I see this guy is pushing, so I back up to get out of his range of his blast, but I was still a little bit too close. Coming for my own blast. He has the meter. Come shield him and protect him. I'm trying to take out the Demeter. Those are high priority targets on the battlefield, guys. Especially in squad play, you want to take those guys out as quickly as possible because they're going to be healing, bringing those their teammates up to full health again providing cover providing shields they're doing an excellent job of pushing excellent job of stopping us from getting the center beacon or even getting close to it getting this guy's bubble Down the way, staying. Ooh. You see how he was able to just swivel out of the way of a lot of my shots? That's why I love the meter. He's so agile. Moving it to center. Trying to swivel up and get into his bubble, but luckily it expired. I did not intend to port all the way over there. It was an accidental port. Man, what is going to happen once the sonic weapons are nerfed? I like to see. It's going to be very interesting. Everyone has gotten so used to and so accustomed to these sonic weapons. It's going to be a big shock to a lot of people once these things get nerfed. For example, when the Hawk got nerfed and a lot of these guys that ran three, four, five Hawks in their hangar, they had a very tough time for a couple weeks after that nerf. Um, I knew it was coming. So two weeks prior to that, I removed the Hawks from my hangar and I started to play uh, Hawk lists, or I would keep one in there just for the end if I needed it for Titans um, in preparation and practice. And that really helped me out big time. Um, I was able to adapt, no problem. It was a seamless transition when the Hawk nerf came. If you guys actually go look at my second and third video, uh, two videos called No Hawk, No Problem, Volume 1 and 2, that was actually prior to the Hawk nerf. So just give you guys an idea of 
my mentality and my approach to the game. I like to be proactive and not reactive. Uh, I like to be prepared for what's coming, know what's coming, and set myself up the best possible way for success. I see they have the Titans out. Um, I'm just going to come in, sacrifice this bot, bot, try to get some damage on their Titan if I can. That's the one nice thing about these Sonic weapons. You can really do a big amount of damage to a Nodens if he cannot heal. So I try to do a lot of damage to them when I can if I have my Sonic weapons out on a robot. Gets his ability. He has Aminos coming in as well. Ooh, he's running the, the Cyclones too. Double kill. Can I get this guy? Targeting system messes up on me. And I get killed. I get taken out. But here he comes, baby. The man of the hour, Ox Minos. We're behind three beacons to two. Um, they have a considerable beacon bar lead. I'd say two and a half times our beacon bar. And we're at the gates, baby. Nothing more we could do in here than go in. Going in. Boom! <laughs> I bounced off his head. Did you see that? Boom. 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 Titan Slayer. Very nice. Very, very nice. So me and Adrian pushed simultaneously for the center bridge. Um, he kept the heal on me. I distracted the Arthur, had him turned around. Adrian was able to put fire into his backside. I was able to blast him from the front. Amazing double team teamwork. Get these Nodens. Nope, I get taken out. But that's okay, I expected it. We got our Hawk, aka the Jack Hawk. Shout out to Jack. This is a really annoying build, and I love it to death. It's so good. I'm just playing it conservative right now. I don't need to push mindlessly. Shooting over to that Arthur to get him locked and suppressed. I go up to take this Nodens out. Get that kill. Lasering in on the Hawk. This has been a very fun uh, battle to come back from. They've had a substantial lead over us the majority of the match until they pushed the center. Now we have three three beacons to their two. Get that kill. Looking around to see if they only have, they only have one more player on the battlefield. Which is good because I was beginning to run out of robots. Oh, a second dropped. Laser that guy as he goes down. Off into the gorge. I've had that happen to me before. I know that feeling. And this is it, guys. We get the five cap, and it is a wrap, as they say. I appreciate you guys so much for all the amazing, amazing support. Hopefully the next, next time I check in with you guys, we can celebrate 1,000 subscribers together. Um, as you see, 9 kills, 5 beacons. Uh, that dude running honor boosters took the number one spot on our team. But GG anyways, great job to him, everyone on our team, everyone on Dark Elite, that other squad. Um, fun game, fun times. Appreciate you guys. Keep coming back.